Well, historically, DDoS attacks that did assert meant that our services were slow or completely down. And we'd have to throw a lot of resources to hurry and help try to mitigate these things. Um, they involve multiple teams, whether product operations, infrastructure, security, and even sometimes marketing would have to help pitch in to do whatever little manual tricks we could to try to keep the site up and running. That caused a lot of undue stress on our team. And it also interfered with their work projects because they had to drop everything they were working on in order to help mitigate these things. So that was definitely a large challenge for us. The next problem that we had was that we have strict compliance rules that require us to be in complete control of our private keys and certificates. When DDoS vendors, in order to distinguish between good and bad traffic, they have to build actually decrypt your traffic. But since we weren't necessarily able to give those keys over due to certain reasons, it would actually, because it would look like all bad traffic. So if our site had just been slow, it was possibly take our whole site down by trying to use a service to help protect us. So that was the other challenge that we were having to address. So we used Imperva WAF hardware appliances already at Digicert. And so we explored the idea of using Imperva's cloud security application uh, suite in order to protect our cloud assets. We needed to address the cloud WAF and have something there similar to what we had on-prem. And we also needed to have a DDoS protection to mitigate those things. We looked at Imperva uh, based on our past experience with them. And also that the, they allowed the unique feature of letting us manage our keys. So we were able to address both challenges with, with a, a vendor that we already were very comfortable with and did a really good job. Well, we've seen uh, attacks that run the gamut. I mean, like pretty much everything, volumetric attacks, layer seven attacks, um, you know, and so really like, and some of these have lasted whether days or weeks um, and can be really long and sustained. So the first real test we had was we, after we'd gotten some of those core assets, it was shortly thereafter uh, over a long holiday weekend, we started getting the alerts letting us know that we had, were facing an attack. And so the first thing we did was you normally go in, you check, make sure the site is, is operational and, and you don't need to follow the rest of your incident response. Well, at this time, things were operational and stuff. And so, you know, it was a huge sigh of relief to see Imperva do its job, do it well. And so we were able to communicate that to my team, to the executive team and realize that, you know, we weren't gonna be wasting anyone's holiday weekend and the site was gonna stay operational. And it was amazing to see.